welcome to another exciting episode of Down in the Box with my boy Roscoe. I'm Eric Toothpaste. Today, we're going over Koo Models, Skeleton and Death. Alright, you guys might remember Koo Models put out some skeleton heads a few years back. They were pretty cool. These, with the whole body, is really nice. They, they did a really good job. And I know all you guys really want to know, there are 206 bones on these snitches. The death is unreal, man. The, 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 the scythe, is that what you call it, Roscoe? Yes, the scythe? It, yep. That thing is, is, as you would say, badass. Yeah, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be, but it really works well with the figure. And it stands better than you would think with something that heavy. It, it has some weight once you throw that chain on it, but the figure actually stands fairly well. Yeah, the two-piece cloak is really nice. It gives it a nice look on the figure. The problem with those skeleton warriors is you just don't want one. You want like four. You can throw them with your evil Ash figure that you got from Sideshow from ten years ago. You've been waiting for a, oh, no, a no. yeah. You've been waiting for Army of Darkness. Now guess what? You got an Army of Darkness, fools. What research Kumas did all this thing? Yeah, I researched their research and I double checked it, and the head sculpt of the Death figure was actually based on Tupac. And who did they base the skeleton warrior on? I believe it was Rock Hudson. No, I can see it. Yeah. I can see it. The only thing I would have done different with these skeletons is I would have made them glow in the dark. They would have been a lot spookier. Oh, don't worry. When Kumal watches our video, the next version will. Not 100% guarantee the next one will be glow in the dark. This is PVC material. It'll be a little sturdier. It's, it's not like, uh, even when you hear model in the name, you're going to think it's going to have some some flash and it's gonna be, you know, cheap plastic that chips away. No, not on these, no. I think the uniform set's pretty awesome. It's made by Koo Models. Uh, what's some of the details on it? You got the fleece jacket. Old Navy ain't got nothing on this fleece. Great cargo pants. You got the holster with pistol. You got insignia and a nice balacaba. Alright, that's all we got for you today. See you guys next time. Down in the box. Let's go.